Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. My name is Fidel. And my name is Laura Lisa. Today's devotion is entitled, The Hatred of the World, which can be found on John 15, verse 18 to 20. Let's read it. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Remember the word I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they had persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. There has never been a time when the world loved people who were fervently and faithfully living for God. We have been privileged and blessed with great measure of religious freedom in America. But for most of church history, that has not been the case. And there are many places in the world today where simply being a Christian can get you fired, divorced, beaten, or even killed. There is a natural tendency for us to try to minimize the opposition we receive. While we should never be unkind, we should also never let the world influence our beliefs or behavior. More than 100 years ago, evangelist Billy Sunday said, We have lost our power because we have failed to insist on the separation of the church from the world. The church is a separate body of men and women. We are to be in the world, but not of the world. The trouble with the church today is that she has sprung a leak. The flood tides of the world have swept in until even her pews are engulfed. We have become but a third-rate amusement bureau. What was true then is even more true today. The things that were right in the past are still right today. The level of opposition to the truth that the world exhibits has no bearing on whether it is true. The more we become like the world in an effort to placate them or diminish their opposition, the less power we have, we will have to influence them for God. Uh, today's growth principles, our goal and purpose must be to, be to please God and not to approve and love the world. I like the title of our devotion today, uh, Hatred of the World. Um, uh, have you asked yourself sometimes why the world hate us or why they, the world hate Christians? Well, it's, it can be found in the scriptures itself. You know, it says here, because we are not of the world. You know, God chose us and we're not part of the system of the world. That's why they hate Christians. They want to put these ideologies to, to the system to, to the system or they already put it in the system and they want the Christian to be part of it but we are part of God's children and we're not of this or we're not part of the world so we're not part of the system that's why they hate us and second is they hate Jesus Christ Jesus Christ is a sinless man he's he's a God but he would just want us to save the world the mankind but they still hate him He's telling the truth, he's telling the salvation, but the world still hates him. So if the Lord, they, they hate Jesus Christ, our Lord, they will also hate us. Because Jesus says, the servant is not greater than his Lord. So they hate Jesus, they will hate us. The third is, which can be found in, actually in verse 21. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sakes. Because they know not him that sent me. So they don't know God. They don't know uh, his command. They don't want to follow his command. They don't, doesn't want to know what his will. That's why they hate Christians. I love also that uh, if we go back up in verse 17. Uh, Jesus says, these things I command you that you love one another. So Jesus is reminding the Christians that we have to love each other because we are we we are it, you know. Uh, because we're not on the system of the world, so we have to show love to each other. Not because just to each other, but we have to tell others that which is in the world that there's a uh, 
a salvation waiting for them, for them to just to, to accept it and get it through Jesus Christ. So to summarize it about why the world hates us, one is because we are not of the world. Second, they hate our Lord Jesus Christ. Third, it's because they don't know God the Father. I hope we encourage you with this devotion and I hope you apply it to our life. Uh, I hope that scriptures will transform us and conform to our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray and thank you for this wonderful day that you gave us. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that dwells in us, Lord God. I love that uh, what's in us, Lord, is greater than this world, Lord. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that gave us directions, convict us, and guide us in our lives, Lord God. Thank you for that power. And thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for us to have salvation. Thank you for everything that you've done and been doing in our life. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So let's read uh, Romans 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by renewing of your mind, that you might prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Have a blessed day, everybody. Thank you.